Greetings, Benzie Central. This is your superintendent, Matt Olson here, and I'd like to take a few minutes to talk with you about the days ahead for Benzie Central Schools. We are living in some crazy times, to be sure. We've all worked hard to adapt and overcome things that we just never imagined. I want to congratulate our staff, our students, and our families for your hard work in taking on the challenge of remote learning this year. I know it hasn't been easy, but as an old theater performer, I always remember that old adage, the show must go on. It has gone on, and frankly, that's due to the heroic efforts of all of you. So I've talked to you quite a bit recently about what's happening right now, but I need to shift and start talking about what's going to happen over the next several months. So there are many questions about the next school year, and while I certainly do not have all of the answers, I want to share our best thinking right now, and most importantly, assure you that we are working hard to be flexible and ready to adapt to do whatever is needed to ensure that services to our kids continue. So first, let's talk fall. What will school actually look like? I think we all can probably agree that we'd like to be able to be back to some sort of relative normal if we can do so safely. Indeed, the governor has convened a return to school task force to determine what school in the falls can look like given the unique circumstances that we have right now. As with many schools in the state, we're planning for three broad possibilities. First possibility, normal operations. This would mean that we would essentially operate as we did pre-pandemic, though with some enhanced safety precautions, such as enhanced cleaning and disinfecting, among other things. Second option, remote learning. This would entail students continuing to work remotely at home with the support of the school. The third is hybrid learning. This would mean that students would have some combination of in-person and remote learning with specific schedules being dependent on both requirements of the state for health and the needs of our individual students. So it's truly difficult to predict exactly what will happen in the fall and what will be asked of us by the state. But what I can tell you is this, Benzie Central is committed to ensuring that all of our students have a place um, in uh, this fall and all our learning. We're working to ensure that our families and students have options. We recognize that, for instance, even if we are back to offering in-person learning, that some families may not yet be comfortable with continuing to send their children to school given what's happening for a variety of reasons. For that reason, we are ensuring that remote learning options will continue to be available for those families. The other big issue looming is that of our school budget. I'm proud to say that our Board of Education has worked hard and been fiscally responsible, and as a result, we are currently in a position that's pretty good relative to many other school districts in our state. That being said, our state is currently projecting shortfalls that may be potentially catastrophic in scope for all schools. We don't yet know specific numbers, but early estimates point to cuts that will be the largest that we've seen since the state began funding schools directly in 1994. Again, we're working on different budget scenarios to address a wide range of possibilities. What I unfortunately must be clear about is that a reduction in state budget will mean some reduction in services. While we will do all that we can to keep cuts away from students and keep our core mission of education intact with the potential scope of what's currently being discussed, all school districts in the state are preparing for some difficult challenges ahead. Now more than ever, our Benzie community spirit is critical. We continue to work as hard as we can to do right by our kids and support our community. Likewise, the Benzie Central staff have been inspired by the support and goodwill that we have received in return from our greater community. No matter what happens, rest assured, Benzie Central Schools is going to continue to do everything in our power to provide the world-class education that our kids need and deserve. Thank you for watching and have a great day.